It's about release time for Fusion 360, and Fusion 360 Cam is about to change. It's not optional, but I think you actually might like it. So what's changing? Well, selections primarily, and a new feature called Geometry Features that changes the way you select things in manufacturing operations. So it isn't optional, which is the crux of uh, this video, but I think it's a pretty big improvement and I'll show you why. Subscribe now and hit the bell so you don't miss our next video. Before Geometry Features, this new feature that's upcoming, this is what our geometry selections would look like inside any type of operation. Now with the new updated geometry features, you can see when we look at geometry, we have these new options for selections. I'm not gonna go through each of these, but we'll definitely go through Silhouette, which is my favorite and super helpful for anything that's like a nested sheet setup like this. So you can see how quickly we can select the outside boundaries of every one of these parts, which there's only three. Another example here is one of our projects that has all these parts. So we've already nested them into sheets. And now if we go over to manufacturing, Let's add a 2D contour to this setup and then go over to geometry. You can quickly select all of the silhouette or basically the profiles of those objects. And we wanna first cut the inside features first. And so we can quickly have all those selected. See, this is real time. I can't imagine having selected all those by hand. Looks pretty good. And then we can duplicate that operation by pushing Command D or Control D or also just right clicking and duplicating. So if we edit the second one, we can then set it up to cut all the outside profiles. Just hit this gear here and then choose outer loops in the loops section and then start outside. Push OK and all of the outside profiles should be selected for you and cam generated to cut those out. Even better, if I duplicate this setup and then choose all of the objects in my next setup, all I have to do is regenerate that cam and everything should be already generated for me to cut the inside and outside profiles. So you can see that's pretty quick and my hope is that we get into a place where our cam templates can also have these silhouette settings predefined because we have a really good set of cam templates for Baltic birch cutting, for example, or sheets of plywood and if those were already baked in, we'd basically have automatic cam setup. That's amazing to me because I'm tired of selecting 30 objects with different features on them for every sheet. For example, a project like this that we did some time ago, you had to have every one of these slots cut out and they had to be hand selected. And if you selected the wrong thing, you'd accidentally ruin a something like five hour machining operation with some expensive material. So these new geometry feature selections allow really easy and so far very safe uh, operation selection so I can select all of the inside features of these little slots that we designed. Not only are you going to save a bunch of time when you don't have to select each object, but you can reuse those selections in subsequent operations. So I created another 2D contour here. Instead of choosing my next object, I just open up that last operation I did and choose the selections there. And now these two objects are going to be linked. So whatever you select in the first object will be selected again in the second. So this would be really good for a roughing and then a finishing operation or multiple things to one set of features. Obviously we do a lot of nested parts, but there's also parts for our mill like our ATC pedestals here. We can use a 2D pocket. Now geometry tab, and we want to select these two pockets, these landings. We will need to clean those out. We've selected both of them and that's pretty much all we need to do. And it's going to generate a little kind of 2D adaptive pattern. And then if we do another 2D contour and then select geometry, we can then select the same thing by, as we just did before, selecting the previous pocket selection from the previous operation, and it'll link those two. And it'll generate exactly that. So anywhere within that pocket, it's gonna clean up that wall. So while that's only two things to select, you can imagine if you have a lot of features or a lot of selections and you don't want to miss things moving forward when you're doing a roughing to a finishing operation or a whole lot of things, all your chamfers. This can really speed up your operations because of the linking features alone. So there's geometry features. There's more to come there in development on different aspects of it. And I had some requests, like I would like to see the window be made a little bit bigger. It has the same issues that like the range window has where some legacy UI design elements like those windows can't be resized currently from their developing standard. And 
I think that needs to change. It just feels pretty archaic at this point. But honestly, I didn't think I would like this. I didn't use it for quite a while, but since it's coming, uh, I've been trying it out more and more, and I think it's really going to be pretty good, and they will keep improving upon it, because that's one thing I love about Fusion, is they never sit still and just let things languish. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments, and I hope you found this video useful. Consider giving Justin a coffee through Buy Me A Coffee. Buy Me A Coffee is just a simple way to give someone a thanks on the internet. He loves coffee, you love videos. Click the coffee link below.